Oh, hi, it's uh, Andy. Just uh, going to do a quick Zoom, just a real short training on sponsoring, um, how to generate leads, the process, that kind of thing, just to give you a few ideas, just to help you get going. So bear with us. I'm going to share um, something on screen. So bear with us. Here we go. Just get this uh, set up as a slideshow. Right, here we go. So, um, yeah, um, sponsoring is one of the, the key things with um, uh, developing your Oriflame business. So it's totally optional. You don't have to sponsor anyone. Um, you can just retail. Uh, but if you want to expand your business and create a, a residual income or a leveraged income, uh, you need to create a team. And it's all about finding people who want to uh, get involved. And it's all about sifting and sorting uh, through people. So it's a sifting and sorting business, sifting and sorting through people to find people who want to have a go, who want to develop a team, who want to become the team leaders. So it's a process. And the more people you sift and sort through, um, the quicker you'll build a team and the bigger the team that you will build. So there's some there's some real basics to this. And that's what I want to go through right now. So um, as a mindset, if you want to build a really big business, you're looking for five key people. Um, key person, uh, I would say in my, my mind is somebody who gets to director level. Um, so if you've just joined and you don't know what director level is, chat with your sponsor, your upline and, and, and go through what's involved to become a director. Um, but if you get to, if you actually uh, find five people who get to the director level and beyond and they're prepared to do what is needed to get to director level to succeed, then you're going to have a, uh, a brilliant business uh, for, for life, effectively. Um, just to paint a picture, a director is somebody who um, is retailing, who's actually sponsoring and creates a team of a certain size, a team that's generating business of around about uh, seven and a half to eight thousand uh, pounds every three weeks. If you've got a team of five of those, you're going to be earning around about fifty thousand pounds per year. Now, for most people, that will give you time freedom. It can be a pension plan. It will create a nice home. It will allow you to have nice holidays and a car of your choice, maybe. Um, it's not going to happen straight away. Um, you will not go out and find five people who become uh, uh, directors straight away. Um, it's a process of working through people and helping people to actually get to that point. And you've got to get to that point yourself as well before you can find other people. So it's a process. So that's just a snapshot of what your team might look like um, uh, in a very simple simplified way so what are you looking to do sifting and sorting to find your key people now this can be sifting and sorting to find your brand partners um, or even your customers your vips online or offline so you so you're looking to actually um, get the opportunity or the catalog or your um your beauty store in front of people and as many people as possible because you're going to start to find some people who want to join as a brand partner and you're going to find some people who want to be regular customers with you so you're sorting and sifting all the time to find customers and brand partners now there's something that is real fundamental um, it's um, an analogy that's been around forever basically um, and it's called the fish pond activities if any of you know anything about fishing um, basically this is just a, a pond full of fish and to give you more chances of catching a fish or a big fish you've got to do lots more activities so a fisherman may have two three four rods uh, with bait on looking for that big fish um, at any one time so these are the rods um, these are lots of common rods that they can be um, make a list of people you know so you can approach people you know something called the three foot rule and we're going to go into some of this stuff later on but the three foot rule is basically speak to anybody who comes within three foot of you customers can become great brand partners maybe if you've got a car have a car sign um, just promoting the business internet advertising in lots of different ways uh, through uh, Facebook. And there's just many ways you can do advertising through internet. Um, you can join an ad pool where the advertising is done for you for a, uh, a small fee um, and you get leads coming to you on a very regular basis. Um, even the catalog or the brochures can become an advert to attract people to a business. Social media is um, obviously a real big area for actually getting out there and reaching out to people, whether that's through Facebook, um, Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok. There's so many platforms out there that you can actually use to reach out to people. There's cards, flyers that you can hand out or pop through people's 
uh, letterboxes, lots of different ways of developing, uh, we call them prospecting cards or flyers. Um, there's email info. Um, you, you, you may have lots of contacts and have lots of emails you can use to reach out to people. You can even put cards in shop windows. Um, there's posters you can create. We've mentioned flyers um, or as referrals. Um, sometimes you'll, you'll get wind of somebody who's looking for an extra income. They may be a, a family member may actually give you um, a contact they know worth uh, giving a call. So there's lots of different ways um, you can actually reach out to people. Um, and, and say fish pond activities, the more rods you've got working for you, the bigger the chance you're going to catch a fish. And obviously the bigger the fish, the more fish you catch, the bigger the, bigger the fish you could ultimately end up with and remember you're looking for somebody who wants to get really serious if you want to be serious and all these activities generate what we call leads so what you're going to need though is what we call a sponsoring pipeline so if you can imagine it's a bit like a sausage machine you put the put the meat in at one end turn the handle out comes some fantastic looking sausages at the other end so what you're looking to do is to put leads through a system so the system could be quite simply phoning them, sending them an email, sending them a message, whether that's um, using social media, messenger or WhatsApp, lots of different ways. But it's actually making contact with somebody um, and letting them have some information. So uh, the information can be in the form of an email with maybe a link to uh, a short video. Um, a great way of doing this, I'm gonna mention it in a bit, is something called Linktree, where you can actually have um, all the links you need in one place and you can send that to someone to have a look at. And the important thing is, is following up to find out if somebody's interested, whether they've got any questions. And at the end of the uh, pipeline or the sausage machine, you're gonna have a yes or a no, or a maybe, um, and someone who might be worth following up in X weeks, X months, maybe a year or two's time. So it's a constant process of putting leads in at one end. Here they go. Um, getting in front of them by way of a phone call or email or a message, letting them have a look at some information and then following up to see if they want to come on board. And it's all about keep filling the pipeline. So the more leads that go through, the more people you're going to go through. So that's sifting process. And at the end, you're going to get um, a percentage. You're going to say yes. And, and it is in terms of the, the way we work, it is as simple as that. But it's all about um, filling that pipeline with leads so just some ways of doing it basically there's um there's, there's three things that um uh, stand out where do we find people where well, there's three ways we find people um the first is people we know so that could be um friends relatives neighbors people at work um so there's a, obviously if, if you've got a facebook and you're in contact with people on facebook there's a lot of people we know out there so there's a way we can approach them then there's people we don't know so people we don't know, um, that's where you're going to get maybe people contacting you through advertising you've got out there. You might put a, a flyer through somebody's letterbox and you get them come back to you, leave a message or contact you on a website to uh, say they're interested in learning more. That's people we don't know. So there's a system for dealing with that. And then there's people we meet. So that's somebody you bump into. So that could be just as easily uh, at a garage where you paid some Paid, paid for your petrol, you've got the cashier there, and there's something we can do to actually, you know, use to actually, um, you know, get their details or find out if they might be interested or they might know somebody uh, who might be interested. So we find people through people we know, people we don't know, and people we meet. So let's have a look at people you know. Um, so what you can do in lots of different ways, and this is just one example of wording, is um, you can actually contact somebody you know um, and say, look, can you help? We're asking everybody, would you know anyone who might be interested in an extra income? What that does in terms of this specific wording is um, we're saying, can you help? Now, people you know, they, they will love to help you. Um, people are, you know, genuinely like to help other people. So can you help? We're asking everybody. So we're not just picking on you. So that really takes the pressure off. Would you know anyone who might be interested? So we're really saying, you know, I'm not necessarily asking you, but would you know anyone? Now, if they 
are thinking about themselves, they will come back and say, well, I might be interested, but they genuinely might know somebody who is. So it's can you help? We're asking everybody, would you know anyone who might be interested in an extra income? Now, there's some great training on doing this and the wording. Um, if you go on to the uh, V Life training and support group and go through the guides, you'll be able to pick up on lots of different ways you can do this. Um, the other thing is um, a warm list where um, you, you're using this third party approach. So people, you know, or sometimes it's called the warm list. Um, the third party approach really works well um, and it's non sort of pressurized, non-threatening to uh, to the people you're speaking to. And it's a really good way to find out if they're interested or actually they do know somebody else who's interested. So that's people you know. People you know, again, so sometimes you might be um, in a situation where um, you, you're actually maybe, I don't know, at a party or you know down the pub or a social event. And quite often people you might not see for a while say, oh, how are you doing? What are you up to these days? So if you've got some wording up your sleeve, um, you might be able to take it a step further to see if that person you're chatting to is interested. So um, you could say, for example, I teach people how to make money for themselves instead of a boss. Oh, how does that work? Well, what you're looking to do is then um, control the situation. So you do that by grabbing a phone number um, or an email address, but better a phone number, arrange to meet if you can, or call them when you can show the business properly. So what you're doing is um, is actually just controlling the situation. So what you're not looking to do is explain the business on the spot because that always becomes very awkward. You're not in control of it, especially at a social event. So what you're saying is, well, look, if, if, um, if you know anyone are interested uh, in this, look, I, I can't really chat here and explain here. Give them, jot your phone number down on this card or piece of paper and I'll give you a shout in the week and I can uh, explain more about it. Is that all right for you? And everybody will go, yeah, of course it is. The other way you can say is I show people how to earn an extra two to four hundred pound a month part time working from home. Same. <coughs> I just have a quick swig of my tea. There we go. Same principle. You're aiming to get their phone number and arrange to talk to them at a time that suits you. So it's really being disciplined when you get into that. So people you don't know, and this is where um, cards you can put on cars, shop ads, little, little cards you can put in notice boards in uh, news agents, for example, flyers you can get through people's letterboxes, um, notice boards, um, you can get fl flyers and cards on notice boards, maybe a car sign. Things called hot pockets, which are just really cards um, stapled together on three side and you're putting some cards in the top. So you're creating a pocket and you can put those out uh, in town all over the place. Um, in, in So as long as people can see them, um, they will take them. The Internet obviously is a, is a massive way of reaching out to people you don't know. Uh, getting involved in our ad pool and we've actually got an ad pool up and running where you can buy leads um, roughly 25 pound for 25 leads and earn, learn, learning how to use social media and again the v life training will explain uh, how to do that really effectively so here's some examples from using cards this is one of my favorite ways of generating leads um, so putting a card on a card um, just on the driver or the passenger side just in the car rubber there you can see my mouse um, people will pick those up put them in their pocket and have a look at them later on maybe you know even a day or a week uh, or even a month later because quite often these cards or flyers they're really triggers and if people see them um, they might not be initially actively looking but if they're a bit fed up about their job um, or they're uh, suddenly seeing their fuel bills rising and the cost of living rising suddenly they've got a need for some extra income and they think hmm, i wonder what that is maybe um i'll just uh, find out and one thing will lead to another you can put cards um uh, through letter boxes especially flyers but cards work as well cards on notice boards again flyers petrol pumps you can put um these cards just uh, when you put the the um, petrol gun back in its holster you can just slip a card on there so people have to pick it up when they take the uh, take the gun out and Hot Pockets, as I said earlier, it is, um, just go back there a second. Hot Pockets is a card glued or stapled on three side, and you can actually put some cards in there. And on the back, get some double-sided tape, and you can put these out where people can see them. It could be on cash points, it could be at bus stops, it could be on notice boards, 
and people will take a card. And don't forget with a card, the three foot rule, maybe when you're in a bar, you can say to somebody who's serving you, oh, hey, do you know anyone that might be interested in some extra income? And they say, well, what doing? Well, look, I'll, I'll, obviously I'm in a queue. I can't really chat here. Here's my card. Here's a pen. Just write your name and number on the back and I'll give you a call in the week. Or um, is that all right with you? And then you've got somebody's details, somebody who's curious, and you can pick it up later in the week. And you're not caught in that situation where you're trying to explain the opportunity. They're trying to serve people. There's a queue building. That just doesn't work. You're looking to capture names and numbers. So cards are really useful for getting out and advertising, but also capturing those uh, names of people you bump into. You can use stickers. Here are some stickers. Um, just with some wording, you can put these stickers absolutely everywhere. Um, you can uh, buy blank stickers and you can print these off. And any wording you want basically can go on there. It's not really the wording that's important. It's somebody seeing the sticker as a trigger at a point when they're hmm, just like, you know, fancy maybe getting some extra income or uh, they've um, just really beginning to hate their job. Um, a, a trigger off in their, in their life means they've got to start looking for something else maybe getting married, maybe needing that extra income, looking to buy a house, maybe needing to save up for a mortgage. They see this sticker somewhere and they go, I wonder what that is. So these things really, really do work. Um, the other thing that you can use, um, which is really what is an online business card, or it could be called your own website, is something called Linktree. Linktree, if you Google it, you'll find it. Um, if you need information on how to set it up and uh, get hold of me or your upline, but it's a fantastic tool for listing all the different elements you've got within your business. So on here, um, you've got uh, your online store. So the link that goes to your online store, you can pop on your link tree, um, your catalog. You can do the same, become a brand partner and become an exclusive VIP customer. All the links here you can get off your Oriflame website and you can set them up as your link tree. Now we've got it set up as um uh, Janine's beautybox.co.uk. Um, so if you want to click on that and just see what that looks like. Um, but this is just a real simple one that we've got set up here as an example. Um, so Linktree, what you can do if you've got a website name, so it could be something as simple as andycooper.com. Um, what you do is you point that at your Linktree URL. This is why if, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, but you're interested in it, speak to your sponsor, speak to me, and I'll explain it in more detail. But it allows you to create effectively a website with everything you need on there to actually share um, the business opportunity with people, but also people who are customers might be interested in looking at becoming a VIP or ordering from your store or your catalog. So it's all under the umbrella of Linktree, a really, really useful free tool. Um, so sponsoring people you actually meet. So we've mentioned a bit about this just now. So this could be somebody in the garage, could be at the supermarket checkout, the postman, window cleaner, it's endless. Um, and basically what you're saying is, would you know anyone who might be interested in an extra income? Um, you can even wear a badge saying, uh, need an extra income. It's a trigger. But what you really need to have at all times is a card and a pen so you can jot down email or ideally phone details and their name. So you've got that. So you're in a position to, if, it's, if you're doing this first time round, you're in a position to pass this on to your sponsor to actually um, create a three-way call so you can see how it works. They can go through everything so you begin to get a, um, an idea of how to say it, what to say, et cetera. That's a great way of doing some training on this, a three-way call. Um, so it's just collecting numbers to allow you to do that. Um, and the more people you speak to, the more people eventually come on board and the more people you're likely to find become leaders and build a business, become directors and beyond. And that's how you're building your long term business. So um, some more stuff about meeting uh, people you meet. Um, this one, it says, um, you know, again, it's when you're meeting people and they come back and say, what do you do? I show people how to earn a major second income from home in their spare time. Would you like some information? Again, card and pen, email, phone details. So you can see how this is working. It's being prepared with something simple. It's about being in control. So you're not put on the spot and you're really getting um, a bit tongue tied trying to explain the opportunity in front of a queue. You're looking to control it and grab a name and number to call and contact somebody when you're in a better place to do it. 
So things like I show people how to earn a second income from home in their spare time, would you like some information, um, <coughs> is a really good uh, set of wording that just captures the imagination and people will invariably say, yeah, I'd like some information. So this is all about sifting and sorting. Um, so the more people you sift and sort through to find people and to find your key people, then this is how you're going to build your business. And you can do this for building your customers and do this for building um, your team through choice to recruiting brand partners who ultimately you teach the same system so they can find their brand partners. This is how duplication begins to happen. The bigger your business will grow. So hopefully you found that. Uh, useful. Um, so have a crack at some of those uh, rods in the pond, but discuss it with your sponsor first. Um, so if there's anything you just don't understand or you want to expand on, you need to chat to your upline, your sponsor to go through it. But this is just to give you a few ideas and give you a feel for how you start to create a, a team. So there you go. Oriflame, sifting and sorting business. That's what we do. Good luck. Speak to you all very soon.